Hello, here I am. This is the queen of the night plant. And uh, there's quite a story about the queen of the night plant that she only flowers on a full moon, except only at night. So if you miss her, <laughs> what I mean by that is the flowers come out at night and you've got to be you've got to actually be there at night you know 11 p.m 10 p.m on a full moon and they're the most magnificent flowers you've ever seen the queen of the night she's a real beauty she started out as one leaf look at her isn't she wonderful and on the other side i've got the pool that's where i love to to hang out on days like this it's such a beautiful day here in noosa on the east coast of australia this is Mary Scott. And today I thought, what I'd like to talk about is success. What does it take to be successful? I've been very fortunate. I've been successful in lots of things in my life. And I've been unsuccessful in some other things. But the success really outweighs the not so successful parts of my life. So I thought, why not share it with people about success? And one of the things that I attribute my success to, I've got to get my head around it, my tongue around it, beg your pardon, is about consistently and persistently pursuing your goal. So know why you're here. What, what's your goal? What's the reason? Why are you doing this? Why do you want to be successful? What... What is it that drives you? It might be your why, if you like, to people talk about that all the time, your why, your why, your why. And yes, that's, I think that's very important. But I think that you have to be prepared to do the action in order to attain the success. And what I mean by that is that I've come across people with my mentoring, mentoring people now for 25 plus years and people have ideas in their head. They never, ever implement them. I think it's something about, you know, just being so cerebral or left brain that it all plays out in the head and it doesn't actually manifest into true action in the world. And there's a big difference between those things. And I think it is harder to action than it is to just talk about what you're gonna do. Um, my partner says talk is cheap. And I think there's a lot to be said for that talk is cheap. Action, on the other hand, takes a lot more commitment. It takes a lot more drive of you. And I think if you really are pursuing success, be consistent in your daily activities and always keep your eye on the goal. I was talking to one of my clients this morning about goals and Sometimes I write goals, honestly, and I put them up on these beautiful colored cards and put them on the wall and all of that. And then I just let it go to the universe, if you like. And I think that you have to create room for success in your life. You have to firstly do something that you're passionate about. My mentoring, my personal development, deeply, deeply passionate about those aspects of my life. Every day, every day I get up. I get up and I'm on the right foot. The front foot is the right foot for me. And be, be prepared to feel your growing pains. Be prepared to feel the stretch because that's what success is all about. Just like this beautiful queen of the night, she started from one leaf and it was probably oh, a little bit bigger than this one. And now she's up to the ceiling. How magnificent is that? And that's what success is about. You really have to cultivate it. You have to cultivate the expectation of it. And I think that you also have to be willing to fall over and have some lessons. You know, lessons are cool. I've had lots of them in my life, lots of lessons. But you know, from those lessons, I've had some beautiful, beautiful experiences, some very successful times in my life. And 
if you're one of these people that are really struggling with your success or maybe as yet you haven't experienced it and you're looking for someone that could mentor you and I think it's good to be mentored by someone who's achieved what you're looking to achieve just comment below be sure and and subscribe love to see some like-minded people here and also reach out to me I've got some runs on the board What's that saying? I didn't come down in the last shower. My mother used to say that. I don't know where I got that from. Probably her. So if you're looking to pursue success, this is the right place to be. And I'm Mary Scott. I would welcome a message from you, a call from you. You can always find my details. I'm always open to speaking to people. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.